My name is Kristen Vitale, and I'm a researcher at Oregon State University in the Human-Animal Interaction Lab. I study the social behavior and cognition of cats in order to explore how felines and humans interact with one another. I also teach kitten training and socialization classes, and yes, they're super cute. I find that people are often surprised when I tell them about the work I do. At least in the United States, cats are often stereotyped as aloof and preferring to be reclusive rather than social. However, for the past decade, I have studied the social lives of cats and found that they really display a wide array of social behavior, both with other cats and with humans. In our recently published study where we examined the preferences of pet and shelter cats, we actually found that the majority of cats preferred human interaction over other choices, such as food, toys, and various scents. Our findings really seem to support what many cat owners have told me over the years, that their cats actually enjoy being social. But why then did this finding come as such a shock to so many people in Western cultures? Do other countries share the same perspective of the aloof cat? Or could there be a cross-cultural difference in how cats behave towards humans and how humans perceive cats? This is what I'm in Kyoto to find out. For the next three months, I'll be a visiting researcher at Kyoto University in the Cognitive Psychology Lab, where I'll examine the social lives of cats here in Japan. You may have heard of cat cafes. These have recently begun to pop up in the United States and other countries, but these Nikko cafes are already well established here in Japan, and there's over 150 of them currently spread across the country. Compared to the United States, proportionally less Japanese own cats, and many Japanese seek out feline interaction through these cafes. All right, so how do we measure the social behavior of a cat? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We conduct a sociability test where a stranger either ignores the cat or is attentive to the cat. So what we'll do is look at how much time each cat spends near the person in both of these conditions. Will the cat's social behavior change depending on how the human interacts with them? So these cafes are really interesting because they not only provide information on cat social behavior toward humans, but also how cats behave toward other cats. In my previous work, I found support for the idea that free-roaming farm cats have preferred associates within their groups. These are specific cats that commonly interact and spend time near one another. So these cats seek out interaction with specific individuals, and it might indicate that a bond exists between these cats. And I've actually already begun to see this idea of preferred associates within these cat cafes. I was told that these two cats, Bob and Mekon, commonly sit together, will groom one another, and often display a close relationship. However, it's really not all fun and games, and sometimes fights do break out. But overall, I'm really impressed by how well the cats get along in a relatively small space. There are also small colonies of free-roaming cats that are tucked away among the busy streets and sacred shrines. These cats too often have social relationships with one another and the humans who care for them. So if you find cats as fascinating as I do, please continue to tune into my channel as I learn more about the social lives of cats here in Japan. Hi sweets. Hi.